Chi Chi. Get the yayo. Get the yayo. Impressive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. Beyonce has been working, y'all, and she has not been paying any mind to some of these rumors about mm -hmm. her. She just recently dropped two promotional commercial videos. She's actually doing a collaboration with Levi's yeah. and she's starting her own jean line. Yeah. Also, she dropped a promo video for her Sir Davis whiskey line. And I heard a lot of good things about her whiskey line as well. I also liked her promo commercial. It looked very expensive. She That's how much it cost? Yeah. I don't drink whiskey, so I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? By day here, she had the whiskey line. Um, but uh, $85? $85. You grabbed a bottle? Not yet. All right. And as well, I also liked her promo commercial. It looked very expensive. She looked good as well. Everybody looked good. It's I Kelly. will say that. Everyone looked I'm good and they seem to be very unbothered. <laughs> and I believe some of these latest drops have kind of been Beyonce's way of quieting some of the salacious rumors about her. Now, for those who don't know, Beyonce and Jay-Z have been targeted because of their affiliation to the fallen mogul P. Diddy. And mm, targeted. Oh man, 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 man. People were mm. sending me. It was like, yo, you got to go look at Beyonce's Instagram to the video, uh -huh. um, to the comment section, to that commercial that's on her Instagram. And all you do is just see all this stuff. I had never seen that. It's like 85% of the stuff that's up under that picture is mm -hmm. bad. So it made me go to the Jay-Z Instagram. And right. the same thing, everything same thing over there. is bad. And it was like the last 24 hours. And I said, let me go to YouTube and see if it's different. So I looked at the Beyonce Levi commercial. Um, I looked at the comments. It's the same thing. Same thing. It's just reading. It's just a pattern. It's crazy. It's wild out here. Yeah. You never thought you'd see no shit like that. It was all good just a week just ago. Just a week ago. Facts. Diddy is facing some serious charges right now. He was arrested for racketeering and trafficking. And he also recorded a lot of celebrities without their knowledge. He allegedly was recording them and using it as blackmail. So a lot of the celebrities who are linked to him are being under fire right now because who knows, they might be on the tapes. And it's not really. It's the same. We always heard it time and time again as we was coming up. It was done in the dark. We'll come to the light. We'll come to the light. And that seemed like exactly what's going on right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right in everybody's face. Yeah. Just Jay-Z and Beyonce people are talking about. I've seen some people bring up Ashton Kutcher, mm. Usher, Gosh. Kim Kardashian, and Gosh. the whole Kardashian clan. Yeah. J-Lo. I mean, a yeah. lot of people have been saying that Jennifer Lopez is on those tapes. And I wouldn't be surprised. Now, we can't just say any and every. Even everybody been hearing all the same things of all the same names. Right. Like the uh, J Lo, even the Kim Kardashian, they took a little bit far and said they think that they was involved with getting information to help people blackmail allegedly. Yeah. Um, so it just turned into a real uh, sticky situation at this point. Uh, looking like Cat Williams is a prophet. Yeah, he called that. He called so much of it. They asked for him to come back on Shannon Sharp show. Like now we gotta have a different conversation with you. Right. See, because <laughs> what did you see to make you predict all this stuff? That's happening uh, yeah, right now. Yeah, because that he never told. Yeah, facts. Everybody is on the tapes. Somebody had the audacity to say that Aretha Franklin was on those tapes. <laughs> People are doing too That's much at I'm this moving. point, okay? Uh, <laughs> like, this is just getting yeah. ridiculous. But it comes to show you that no one is safe. No mm. one is safe. And celebrities have been getting backlash left and right, including... Mm. Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z in particular has been getting more backlash because of his close connection to Diddy. And Beyonce has been kind of labeled guilty by association. So there has been- Guilty by association. Cause they say birds of a feather uh, flock, together. flock together. And Jay-Z, we've been hearing stuff about Jay-Z for like over like the last six months. Yeah. Even when we did the Benzino interview, you remember I asked Benzino like, Everyone keeps saying Jay Z's next. Are you hearing something? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you hear something we're not hearing. And that was six months ago, but we was hearing so much that we were trying to bring it up to him, and now it's just more and more is unfolding. And people think like, if, if did he go to trial? A lot's gonna be unfolded. And yeah. we're hearing about the tapes around Hollywood being shipped around. People shipped selling. around, everybody selling for the, for the bread. Yeah, it's getting crazy out here. It's only a matter of time and before they on the internet. Yeah. yeah been this trend on TikTok saying that she knows yeah. and it's really just a conspiracy video that people put together and they're saying that she knows what's going on with Diddy yeah. they're accusing her of also taking out Aaliyah yeah. Left Eye and Michael Jackson yeah. which is so ridiculous I can't yeah. believe people believe this but they've been using J. Cole's song she knows and putting these clips yeah. together and just 
facts. And it's like, yo, if you, uh, it made it on my radar about the J. Cole song that it was uh, taken down. That's why people keep using that. Um, she Knows because uh, J. Cole had the song She Knows. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? And then when it got taken down, it made me go re-listen to the song to see like what was people talking about. I heard something about when he said put the ring on it. Um, you feel what I'm saying? When She Knows the Beyonce quote and it kept mm-hmm. saying She Knows. But if you go to all them comments I was telling you about under her uh, Instagram, Jay Z's yeah. Instagram and on the commercial on YouTube, mm-hmm. that's how you see it. She Knows. She Knows. She yeah, knows, I've she seen knows, that everywhere. Knows, I was she knows, like, she knows, she knows. I was like, man, once the, you get these people on the run, they're going to run all the way with it. I never thought I would see some stuff like that. And then be, I'm like, there's no way this is true. Everyone loves Beyonce. There's no yeah. way. But then when I go, see, when I seen what they was doing, I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And it sticks out so much just because you never seen You never like seen that. I thought you would expect it. Yeah, who would? If somebody said that, you would not believe that. At all. At all. You're like, eh, ain't nothing uh, You got to go see it for yourself. And once you see it, you're like, it's like damn, that's crazy. What happened? Just painting Beyonce out to be this big bad wolf. And I was just like, whoa. I was looking at some of the videos on TikTok and. I- <laughs> they say she knows. And right there, say Sean and use her name. Beyonce knows. Like, oh, Sean knows. She knows. That's, Yo, crazy. that's crazy. Oh, and they got the lid. Uh, my- they put everything on here. That's crazy. I was like, man, people are really ready to cancel this woman without any proof that she's guilty. Right. That's crazy. Right. That's really crazy. And it now that's crazy uh, because this is all allegedly and speculation. Speculation. Uh, I don't think she's canceled. It's, um, it's a lot of people that still love Beyonce. I don't even just, think it's going to be a smudge. It's just one of those things it, in you, the moment. You just hear the rumblings. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It sound like they're heating up like we never seen before. Like you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. This was behind closed doors talk. Yeah. Now it's just out, out in the open. open. It kind of makes me feel a little bad for beyonce and i'm not saying that she's perfect or above reproach but can you at i felt bad for beyonce reading them comments i'm not gonna hold you i felt like she felt i felt bad like what the hell what's going on only thing that goes to my head is how would beyonce feel she's seen these comments yeah she's have to hear about this that's these comments that's going around it's like there's no way you can't hear about it you know she like anybody you gotta just brush it off like water on a duck's back yeah, that seems like what she's doing. <laughs> At least give her the Lord benefit of the doubt back, <laughs> that yeah. she's not a villain. Like, come on, y'all. That's crazy. But Beyonce did what she does best. She addressed the rumors without addressing them. She mm. posted this video promoting her Sir Davis whiskey line. Mm. And in the video, she's <laughs> all smiles. She looks completely unbothered. Yeah. And I noticed that her mother, Tina Knowles, reposted the video and she said, mm. Meanwhile, mm. in Paris, celebrating a dinner for Sir Davis. Mm. Meanwhile, that meanwhile, y'all talking, y'all ish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we see y'all we, yeah yeah we eat no <laughs> meanwhile we we live in our best life so Facts. keep typing and we're gonna keep living so basically what they're saying is while y'all brokies <laughs> are chatting about what we doing <laughs> we living it up in paris ain't yeah. nothing bothering right. us <laughs> also beyonce out. seemingly <laughs> put those divorce rumors to rest now mm-hmm. If you don't know, there was this insider who revealed that Jay-Z was secretly meeting with a divorce lawyer and a criminal defense lawyer. This is all alleged. It wasn't confirmed, but that was a rumor put out there by anti-lawyer. And so this led a lot of us to believe that maybe Jay-Z and Beyonce were splitting up in the midst of this whole Diddy fiasco. But Beyonce is like, I'm not leaving my man. (laughs) She actually posted pictures of her and Jay-Z together. So she pretty... That's what's like, up. Forget about it. Yeah, because people were saying that um, she needs to start making distance uh, from Jay Z, and people thought she was setting up the Cowboy albums as the last thing I'm about to drop. Um, because I know stuff about to hit the fan, but she looking like, yo, we riding this out thick and thin. Like, those are just rumors and those are just speculations. Uh, we still good over here. Yeah, still good over here. Yeah. You don't see us complaining <laughs> at all. <laughs> Pretty much shut down those rumors as well. Now I will say this: even though Beyonce looks refreshed mm-hmm. and unbothered, 
Her husband, Jay-Z, Mr. Sean looks Carter, exhausted. is looking stressed in this picture. He looks like he's worried about something. So it's like nowadays. Like, like, man, I should have left at like 2.59, <laughs> man. I stayed for that extra minute. Yeah, it's like, yo, now, like, we just started seeing this when people are, like, reading celebrity faces. Remember when the Drake picture came out after the Kendrick Lamar stuff at mm -hmm. the white party? He was like, he looked aged, he looked stressed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Now yeah, they say like Jay-Z. Like it's like, yo, from the, that other picture they took early was at the same party. Uh, when he had his hand over his mouth, um, she was mm -hmm. at the table. It was the same party. In that picture, he didn't look stressed. Like he was living his best life, chilling. With at that moment, yeah. It just caught, caught me in a like, bad man, moment. Man, I'm out here. Or oh, I could have went and hit a J in the back, and I came back out and just <laughs> get a, <laughs> right. at a party. We partying. The henny could be henny. In. Something has been keeping him up at night, and I hope it ain't the Diddy situation. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I simply don't know. And honestly, it's wrong to speculate if we don't have any proof. Okay. It's wrong. And the Diddy situation has gotten really serious. It's always been very serious, yeah. but recently there have been 120 accusers who have come out against him. In fact, this lawyer by the name of Tony Busby did a whole press conference and he put up a hotline number mm -hmm. for victims to call in so he could represent. At this point, it's real. Like, yeah, it's like they're trying to humiliate Diddy um, at this point. Yeah. Um, because if you got 120 people that step forward, uh, people already coming for it. Why do you need a hotline if 120 people already came for it? They're already doing it uh, without yeah. your hotline. So no, why was trying to find everybody? Uh, yeah. Everybody, everything. Why do you now uh, need a hotline? Um, at this point, it's just getting like real crazy. The whole situation, which is going on, the allegations that he was making at this press conference, um, saying a nine-year-old, a fifteen-year-old, mm -hmm. a seventeen-year-old. So it's getting. Yeah, it's way past getting. It's yeah. out of control. It's out of control. Facts present them the whole thing has really become a spectacle at this point yes. but what really really disturbed me was the fact that some of these victims were minors including yes. somebody as young as nine years old a nine-year-old boy made allegations about diddy doing something to him after he auditioned for a record deal that's crazy that's crazy um that's wow but my thing is i do 120 people from across the world all go to the same law service, the same lawyer. Like, how did that get? Yeah, how did that get organized? That all 120 people. Now you're giving out a hotline. Well, you didn't give one out before. Yeah. How did they all call the same guy and be like, "I want you to represent me"? Yeah, it seems a little. It's a little sus. I don't know. I'm just saying. This is just too much. Yeah. This is too much. Like. I really hope this is not true, but at the same time, you can't put anything past anybody, especially somebody like Diddy, who has such a bad reputation at this point. It's just really it's almost seeming like Michael Jackson, that's, mm -hmm. which we know Michael Jackson had beat all his charges and they yeah. never found any evidence on Michael Jackson. But it's having that same feel like Michael Jackson as the only difference is they got tapes. Yeah. That's that's a big, but big, big difference. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna come out in court. Really sad, yeah, I and see. I don't feel good <laughs> well, about covering take, stories you know, like this. I know we you got. You could be at the crib running around and doing take that, take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't you know. really don't know. You got some tapes. All right, cool. What's on the tape? You know what I'm saying? The, the tapes are only as interesting as your mind. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Justin Combs <laughs> going around the crib, hardly yeah, shaking. I, mean, I don't, I don't know what's on the tapes. What's on the tapes? got a little kiki out of the whole baby oil tidbit but mm -hmm. this story as a whole is very sad and very sick yeah. very sick and disturbing yeah. and it just doesn't make me feel good to talk about it's not right and i don't want to see any more black celebrities in the headlines over crimes like this yeah. i really 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 don't because personally i think it will be used as an agenda to make black people look bad I shit yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. How they, that's, that's exactly how they talk about legends. Is. You got uh, Diddy going through this situation. R. Kelly's in jail. They saying Jay Z's next. Like it's like who do yeah, we have a, left? They just knocking them down from the top down. One one just say like one at a time. It's like, just bloop, 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 bloop. It's crazy. I also think that they're using stories like Diddy's story as a distraction as well because there's so much going on in the world right now. This is it? We were just talking about that early. There's just mm. so much just going on right now with the, the prices of rent, the prices of food. The prices of gas. Uh, the, the docks just shut down. Yeah, everywhere. All the missiles that just got shot from Iran uh, towards Yeah, they Israel. shot like 240 or something. 
Yeah, it's just like, yo, what's going? Like, all right, what's is this a Truman Show? <laughs> like, it feel like is it. this real? Like, am I am I still dreaming? Like, nah, is nah. this too much going on right now at one time? And it's like, can't put my finger on it. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Something's yeah, off. Yeah, something's off. It ain't it ain't it ain't how it ain't how it's supposed to be. Nah, definitely not. This election season has been crazy. The tensions with Israel and Iran is getting stronger. Dang, like, Iran wait, just that? attacked Israel, and you know the U.S. Let's is going to be dragged it. into this whole conflict. So we're literally on the brink of another war. Yeah. It's just crazy right now. And, you know, I even have a sick suspicion that Diddy was taken down by the feds because the feds wanted to protect some of the people that were on those recordings, including some high-profile politicians. You hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the people that's on the tapes are connected to the people that raided the grid. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like go back and get that. But it sounds like even with, with even with that being done, there's still tapes that circulate. <laughs> so, circulating. They, like they couldn't get them all. Couldn't get them all. So there, who knows? There we go. We soon will know. It seems like every like Cat Williams was saying, everything's gonna come out. It seems like it's coming out. It's coming one out. way or another. One, one day at a time. Yeah. That's what I think. The feds have been aware of what Diddy was doing for a very long time. And they've also been aware of what other elites are doing as well. They're aware of the rituals. They're aware of the trafficking. They're aware of what these people like Hugh Hefner have been doing. They allow And that's the issue that a lot of people are having. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know Diddy did what he did. But we know Diddy wasn't alone. Yeah, it wasn't just Diddy. It's not just black people at these parties. Yeah. <laughs> But it seems like these are black people is the one that's going down for them. So it's like that's the whole situation. It's, it's like people want to see other people. Go everybody, yeah. We're not gonna make him the token mascot face of this when we know it's a whole. It's a, yeah, yeah. It's almost like what Kendrick was saying when it's time to watch the party die. <laughs> yeah, we're watching it die right in front of our eyes. It's crazy. People were saying who who have was was loved and be loved. He's doing the same thing. Yeah, they said. Well, they said um, Diddy had a tunnel. Yeah, that led to his house. That led to his crib. Yes. To that mansion. would be crazy if that was true. I don't know. It's speculation. I don't know. We have, I haven't look, looked at schematics of his house. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been there. I don't yeah. know what goes on in the tunnel. Yeah. But that would that be would hella be, dope, though. That would be crazy. Straight to the Playboy man. Yeah, allowed him crazy. to get away with his trafficking for... I'm just going through the tunnel. You know what I mean? I'm still thinking about it. He's like, take that, take that, take that, take that. We want to see these mad minutes right now, nigga. That would be crazy. I'm up in there like, yo, what's up, man? Bobbing. For a very long a time, buddies. up until his death. <laughs> so you mean to tell me they didn't know what Diddy was doing? Please, yeah. they know what he's been doing, yeah. but they took him down right around election season, and I don't think that's a coincidence. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about. He was out here running his mouth. They gotta put you back in your place. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what, you know what I'm is. saying. They we gotta let you, we gotta let you know the the pecking order around here. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You obviously forgot the pecking order. You forgot your role, nigga. That's what that was. Let's, let's remind you. And I want by reminding you, you we uh, reminded a mass of people <laughs> by just reminding you. Yeah, reminding you where they'll get, they'll they'll catch their memory back real quick. In case, yeah, oh, in case they forgot. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Nicki Minaj hiring Megan Thee Stallion's ex best friend Kelsey Nicole to be a model for her shoe line with Loki or Lochi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, she hired Kelsey Nicole and people thought she was petty for doing that. Man. It's pretty obvious that sorry, Nicki and Megan don't like each other. <laughs> so the fact that Nicki hired Megan's ex friend and her biggest op. This is crazy. Uh, the, the way they fight in the industry or yeah. just do stuff in the industry. Like, I'm going to put your family member in the picture. Um, it's just like, that's just like industry type of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. It goes on forever. If you know, you know type situation. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. like, if you know, you really know. You're like, like, ooh. Yeah, facts. That's when them stab twist moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody trying to get paid out here. Yeah. You know, don't block my check. <laughs> don't block my check. Yeah. Or Meg, that could be Meg's whole point of view. Like, girl, I don't care about that. Get your money. Get your bag. She paid you to do it. Do what you gotta do. You got, you got, you got my nieces and nephews to feed. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Straight up. It's not really a surprise to me. Also, it's not a surprise that Kelsey took the job because she has issues with Megan. Just to refresh people's memory, Megan was out there smashing some of the men that Kelsey was talking to, including Tory Lanez. And oh, that's Kelsey from Tory Lanez. I was. 
That, uh, that it makes sense now. Things up a little bit. I thought yeah. it was like a dang shots fired, literally <laughs> at the foot. Smashing some of the men that Kelsey <laughs> was talking to, including Tory Lanez. And when it came out that Megan slept with Tory behind Kelsey's back, they got into an argument, and it actually led to that whole incident where Megan ended up getting shot at. And Tory was found guilty for pulling the trigger, but some people believe that it was really Kelsey who pulled the trigger because. You hearing those rumblings like a lot and more and more. You see more free Tory Lanez. Um, he didn't have nothing to do with it. To me, it never made sense. Even check my older video. Like it didn't make sense for him to it do that at sense. that point. Um, if I'm smashing both of y'all, I'm not gonna shoot right. one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. I, I really don't care that much about either or. <laughs> Yeah. That I know that y'all hang together and I'm doing my one-two with you. I really have too much respect for you. For y'all. For y'all. Talking from a guy's point of view. Yeah. I'm not going to jeopardize my career to... It makes no... Guys, we think logically. We yeah, don't think emotionally. No, yeah, there's no logic in... Exactly. I'm going to throw away all this I built for somebody that... I'm smashing I, a best friend? I don't, I don't, they no. don't We don't operate like they that. They don't add up. We yeah, don't operate we don't like move that. like that. Yeah, at all. Because she was getting her revenge, allegedly. But ever since that incident, Kelsey back. and Megan have mm -hmm. not been on good terms mm -hmm. whatsoever. <laughs> so Kelsey doesn't feel any loyalty to Megan. They're not friends anymore. So it's not a surprise that she would link up with Nicki Minaj, yeah. knowing Nicki and Megan's history. Yeah. Now, does this make her look... They said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. And, and <laughs> no truer words were spoken. Yeah. Eddie for doing this yes it does but I don't know many people in her position that would turn down an opportunity like this because she is getting a check at the end of the day but people were not happy about yeah we were just talking about inflation <laughs> <laughs> groceries going up rents going up you know I, I got everything go, going up I gotta go get this money period point blank they talking about shortages with these docs I need to go grab stuff now before it's I need to go grab these gone. essential items yeah yeah <laughs> hey bro about this people were going in on kelsey and they also were going in on Nicki minaj i was on the shade room and i was reading some of the comments here are some of the comments that. i read this makes them look not gonna hold you she was all right though yeah, you know what i'm saying i like them the shade room and i was reading some of the comments here are some of the comments i read this makes them look obsessed with megan mm. i feel like Nicki married her husband strictly for his last name petty damn <laughs> when the ops link up the connection ain't cute or genuine mm. but go off mm. but the shoes is whack this the most unnecessary shady move ever shoes ain't whack we just said we like the shoes like you know what i'm saying there's nothing mm. wrong with them shoes like the shoes is dope when both yeah. your ops link up the only thing that had in common was the megan hate mm. kelsey was the problem from the beginning mm. a whack model for a whack shoe Damn. this was actually wildly corny mm. you're either a friend or an enemy in disguise friends don't move like this when they go separate ways the respect is always there mm. if i were kelsey i would be disappointed that i only got mm. nikki's attention because of my ex-friend and her beefing you're being used girl and she's being used as she's doing the using. She's getting the bag out of it. Yeah, get the bag out of it. Yeah, I don't saying, think you can say she's getting used. There. Let's say if she got half a million for that. Was she wrong for taking that? Let's say she yeah, got she a million. She took advantage of the situation. It took me a couple hours to make a half a million to a million dollars. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Facts. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Got Nikki's attention because of my ex-friend and her beefing. You're being used, girl. Two desperate women looking for relevance off of Megan's name, mm. and these shoes are hideous. Damn. So these were just some of the comments <laughs> I saw, and there were a hideous. bunch more. People were really, really going uh, in. They didn't like this at all. But hey, it's still publicity nonetheless. So yeah. as much as people are bashing it and complaining about it, you will still have some people who will buy this sneaker. So sure. sometimes outrage marketing works. <laughs> anyway, to it's like if you're a fan of Nikki and you're gonna buy her stuff, that's what your fans do. They support you. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Most of the stuff you put out, they're gonna like. You feel what I'm saying? Even if they don't like it, they'll still support it just because they know it is support you. Assisting and helping you. Yeah, facts. What y'all think about this mm -hmm. video down below? Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Straight TV. Bye. Let's get it. I think this was a dope video. Yeah. It covered a lot of content worthy uh <laughs> conversations i would say yeah. um but that jay-z uh beyonce part was very interesting i just see uh 
it, it does seem like every time we have people uh, uh, that are African American in these positions, somehow, some way, over time, it ends up being some dirt. Nobody walks away clean, B. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No yeah. I was like, away. but it's like they try to find it. Yeah. They try hard to find yeah. it. Man. Not Michael. Not Bill Cosby. Not Prince. Not Michael Jordan. And it ain't like something happened. It like they not you know, Floyd. They be like, yeah, we gonna get a record of this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's how the feds work. Yeah, that's how crazy. the feds work. It's a crazy situation, yeah. man. What you think about this? I think this is a crazy, uh, crazy uh, situation. Even when you first came over here, I was already talking to you about this whole situation. What was going on? The Beyonce um, and Jay Z uh, comments. Because um, I don't think that you knew at this point. And then when I seen this video, I'm like, bro, we got to do this. This is what we were just talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it made sense, and I think she did a good job. Uh, putting the information there really wasn't biased. Um, she's like waiting for more. Like we're just not gonna condemn people the same way that we are. We're right. Not gonna condemn. We just putting the information that out there that's out there in the public. It's not stuff that we're making up that we draw yeah, out of the hat. Around. It's floating around, and people are pointing my attention to it. Um, so I just thought it was very interesting because, like we said in the video, I thought this was something we'll never see with Beyonce. And yeah, Jay-Z I ain't never think that ever. We there. thought they was a ride out into the sunset, but it yeah. seemed like they're not getting that. And we've been hearing a lot of rumblings over the last six months. Probably it's even a year now about the yeah. whole situation. Um, so it's just crazy. Um, she did a good video. Uh, can't wait to see we come from the situation. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV. And I'm out.